What's up, party animals? My name is Kezi, and I have finally gotten back from Base Canyon, and I am both here physically and finally mentally. So, I want to talk about Base, and the first thing I want to say is I got my action camera stolen. I was setting it on a table to try to film myself spitting some poi, and this was before even the pre-party. I was just spinning poi, doing some dances, because people were playing music. I go to check up on the camera, and it's gone. Now, I learned a ton this festival. First of which was live in the moment, because vlogging it apparently just didn't get to be an option anymore. But in part of that is being sober. We've gone to every festival super screwed up on everything we can get our little paws on. And this festival has been eye-opening when I'm not trying to take everything that I can stuff in my face. And that was freeing. I was present. I was awake. I slept good. I ate well. I was alive. It didn't feel like a... It didn't feel like I was trying so hard just to survive the festival. I felt like I was just there watching a show. Just because they play music at the drug festival doesn't mean you need to do drugs. It's wonderful for the music and the experience and the friends you meet. Now, I did break that on Saturday. I saw Liquid Stranger and the whole set was perfect. From the music and the visuals synced together perfectly to Liquid Stranger's absolutely adorable little like, I'm Liquid Stranger, guys. I hope you like my music. Please come to my party. It was amazing and I love him so much because he is what music is about. When you find an artist that is about the music, they're not about this kind of insane thing. It shows through what they create because they make it because it makes them, it's fun. And that's so important. I could see how much fun he was having on stage. Amazing time. But in my head, I was going through absolutely different worlds the entire time. And the theme of that was sobriety. I need to stop getting so f***ed up because it's not doing me any favors anymore. I'm getting too old for drugs to make up for lack of physical aptitude. I need to go out and I need to exercise. I need to lift a weight, or at least a rock. So I need to start working on building my body and not my stash and start actually going to places and be present for them. Both losing the GoPro and being sober really helped me stay in tune with the festival itself, and that was insanely important. Now, number three, fursuits. I love Kezi. I love my fursuit of Kezi. It's literally my favorite thing I own, and I have been so scared to damage it. And that's valid. You should be afraid to damage your fursuit. They're expensive. They're fairly fragile. However, I have run Kezi through the dirt for three years now, and I figured, so one, my feet paws completely fell apart. So I decided, hey, I'm just gonna cut the shoe out and use it as a shoe cover. Works perfectly. Absolutely amazing. Everything I could want out of a feet paw, and everything I want out of a shoe. It was really nice. I had like big boots underneath. I felt like I could sprint. It was amazing. So don't be afraid to make modifications to your fursuit. Definitely something any fursuiter should learn is how to care for it as well as how to make it better for themselves. Because when you're commissioning a fursuit from someone else, you don't always know what you're gonna be doing in the fursuit. So if you can make some sort of cut or addition and to make it way easier on yourself, Go for it. There's no reason not to. So, yeah, uh, the festival itself outside of that was kind of okay. I didn't film it and I wasn't really in fursuit that much because everyone was just kind of, eh, we're here again. And everyone who was excited to see me had already really saw seen me. I wasn't new and novel to anyone anymore, which is fine, but it doesn't, it does make it a little less, uh, Oh, hey, I need to be in fursuit and more just, oh, I'm just that fursuit now, huh? That sucks. So, 
But that's it. I, I again, uh, if you want to help out with the GoPro or Osmo is what I have, uh, Patreon here, coffee here, and I have a bunch more content planned for the future very soon. So keep tuned. And until next time, thanks so much for watching. Bye bye.